Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we will learn about a very important concept, the wetlands of India. Let's first see what will we cover. What are wetlands? What are Ramsar wetlands? Important wetlands of India and their location. So, let us begin and know first what are wetlands. Wetlands are unique and complex ecosystems that are vital for the ecological health of our planet. In India, wetlands are particularly significant because they provide biodiversity, provide ecosystem services and sustain local communities. They encompass a variety of habitats including marshes, swamps, bogs and mangroves among others. Mangroves are particularly important as they provide a buffer against storm surges and coastal erosion, support rich biodiversity and sequester carbon. The Sundarban shared with Bangladesh is the largest mangrove forest in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wetlands are often referred to as the kidneys of the landscape because of their ability to filter pollutants and regulate water quality. The Ramsar Convention is the most important initiative towards the conservation of wetlands. Let's know a bit about it. It is an intergovernmental treaty adopted on February 2, 1971 in the Iranian city of Ramsar on the southern shore of the Caspian Sea. In India, it came into force on February 1, 1982 under which wetlands of international importance are declared Ramsar sites. As of 2024, India has 80 Ramsar sites each recognized for its ecological significance, biodiversity and role in sustaining local communities. The first Ramsar site in India was Chilika Lake in Orissa. It was given the status in 1981. The next one was Keoledio National Park in Rajasthan, which got Ramsar site status in 1985. Slowly, the frequency of the new additions increased and today, we have 82 Ramsar sites. Let's know about the five Ramsar sites of India added in 2024. Three are in Karnataka. They are Ankasamudra Bird Conservation Reserve. It is a human-made village irrigation tank built centuries ago and is spread over an area of 244.04 acres adjoining the Ankasamudra village. The second is Aghanashini Estuary. It is spread over an area of 4,801 hectares and is formed at the confluence of the Aghanashini River with the Arabian Sea. The brackish water of the estuary provides diverse ecosystem services including flood and erosion risk mitigation, biodiversity conservation. The wetland also provides livelihoods by supporting fishing, agriculture, collection of edible bivalves and crabs, shrimps aquaculture, traditional fish farming in the estuarian rice fields, locally known as Ghazni rice fields, and salt production. The mangroves bordering the estuary help to protect the shore against storm and cyclones. Magadi Kere Conservation Reserve It is a human-made wetland with an area of nearly 50 hectares which was constructed to store rainwater for irrigation purposes. The wetland harbours two vulnerable species, common pochard, Ethia ferina, and river tern, Sterna orentia. It also has four near-threatened species, namely oriental darter, Ahinga melanogaster, black-headed ibis, Threskiornis melanocephalus, woolly neck stalk, Siconia episcopus, and painted stalk, Micteria leucocephala. It is also one of the largest wintering grounds for the bar-headed goose, Ansa indicus, in southern India. It has also been declared globally as an important bird and biodiversity area, IBA. The next two are from Tamil Nadu. Let's check them out. Karaivetti Bird Sanctuary Water from the wetland is utilized by the villagers for cultivating crops such as paddy, sugarcane, 
cotton, corn and split red gram. About 198 species of birds have been recorded here. Some of the most important visitors being the bar-headed goose, pin-tailed duck, gargany, nadin shoveler, common pochard, Eurasian wigan, common teal and cotton teal. The next is Longwood Shola Reserve Forest. It derives its name from the Tamil word Solai which means tropical rainforest. The Sholas are found in the upper reaches of the Nilgris, Anamalais, Palni Hills, Kalakadu, Mundanthurai and Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. These forested wetlands serve as habitats for the globally endangered black-chinned Nilgiri laughing thrush, Strophosinkla cachinas, Nilgiri blue robin, Myomela major and vulnerable Nilgiri wood pigeon, Columba elfinstoni. That was all for today. We hope you found this super helpful. Let's practice some questions now. What is Ramsar Convention? List the first five Ramsar sites in India. What are the threatened species found in Magadi Kere Conservation Reserve? What are the Indian government's efforts towards the conservation of these Ramsar sites? What are Sholas? Thank you and happy learning!